Okay, so Logan is another X-Men movie. Well, it's not really in an X-Men movie, really. I will say this. It's the third installment in Wolverine's standalone tr trilogy, the first being X-Men Origins Wolverine, which we all know how that turned out. The second being The Wolverine, and now we have Logan. And it is also Hugh Jackman's presumably final movie in which he plays the character of Wolverine. Yes, this review will be 100% spoiler free, so I will not spoil anything in this review. Just go see Logan and have fun with it like I did. I think I ruined it because I really enjoyed Logan. Let's talk about the things that I liked about this movie. Of course, I'm going to start with Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman, once again, kills it as Wolverine. This time, he plays an extremely old and extremely battered Wolverine. Uh, his uh, healing abilities isn't working. He's just some old dude who has had a crappy life. Patrick Stewart once again re reprises his role as, as Professor X, and he does a great job playing him once again. And I'm not going to spoil anything about his character, but I will say this. He's extremely old, and he has a disorder, and when you find out what it is, you will be heartbroken. The chemistry between Logan and Professor X was great. It's just great to see these guys reprise their characters once again, and since this is presumably the final movie in which they play their characters, it's going to be sad just to see these guys go, because... I can't imagine anyone except Hugh Jackman and Patrick Stewart playing Professor X and Logan. And they introduce a new character in this movie, and you guys can probably guess who it is. It's X-23, and she was great. I forgot the little girl's name who plays X-23, but I will say this about her. She has a bright and great career in Hollywood ahead of her. Because she was great in Logan, and I'm pretty sure she will kill it in more movies to come in which she stars in. X-23 is someone you do not want to screw around with. And its movie is rated R, and the first five minutes of this movie, you're going to be like, oh yeah, this is definitely rated R. I'm pretty sure if it weren't for the success of Deadpool, this movie wouldn't be rated R, and I'm so thankful that this movie is rated R. Because when this movie gets brutal, it gets brutal. I really love the tone of this movie. Instead of it feeling like a comic book movie, it feels more like a Western drama. And there were, there were actual parts in this movie in which I was like, I forgot this was a comic book movie. I thought this was just a Western drama. That's what I love the most about Logan. It feels like an actual legit drama than an actual superhero movie. Because I will say this. If you're not a huge fan of comic books, like say comic book movies or, uh, or, or superheroes like in, in general, you will still love this movie. Trust me. I may have to think about this, but this might be the best comic book movie I've seen since The Dark Knight and... Captain America Civil War. I may think about that. There's another thing that a lot of people might have an issue with. It's when the film slows down. And Logan does slow down just a little bit. And I know a lot of people have issues with movies being slow at some parts. Guys, trust me. When Logan slows down, it slows down for a reason. And you're going to really enjoy it. It slows down just to focus on the drama than the action. Now, Logan is not just a great superhero movie, it's not just a great X-Men movie, but it's a great movie, period. And it pretty much is everything that I want it to be. I'm gonna give Logan an A+. <laughs> Alright guys, that's it for my review of Logan, and and yes, I am still continuing my King Kong review series before Kong Skull Island comes out, and, and my review for the 
2005 remake will be up tomorrow. And I have a question for you guys. Have you seen Logan? What did you think of it? Or, out of all the X-Men movies, what is your favorite? Whatever it is, comment below and let me know. And if you want, if you want to see more of my videos, just be sure to subscribe.